We need to keep fighting, petitioning, protesting, marching. What we have to understand is that these institutions are here for us as well. It's really important for black students to engage with politics because otherwise politicians will ignore them. Today's been a really brilliant day um, just to see so many people who travel from across the country to come here and actually listen to what the MPs have to say. The power of the black vote is so important and it's important that black students know what their power is as well and so they can be able to exercise their right to vote. I remember looking at the television in the 1987 election when Paul Boateng, Diane Abbott, Bernie Grant all got elected. And I remember thinking, even though I was only 12, that was a landmark. And it, was, it kind of inspired me in a way. Politics is like a computer game. What you put into it is what you get out of it. If they feel that people that look like you don't care, don't ask hard questions, and above all, do not vote, they will do what they like to you. Politics affects key things about your life. If you don't even bother to understand it, let alone vote, politicians will continue to ignore you. And until communities mobilise, until young people get involved, it's one thing is for sure that nothing will change. What there hasn't been is an organisation within communities to say to MPs, we want you to put race back on the agenda. Everywhere you look, you find an absence of any policies to tackle race uh, discrimination and race inequality, which is one of the huge scars on our society. So, you know, we have to actually say to political parties, no, we will not accept that. We want more, we demand more. How come we call it Black History Month, whereas it should be really incorporated into the curriculum throughout the year? Personally, I quite like Black History Month because events are put on and things happen which I enjoy. And it does force institutions to address the issue of black history. Ideally, we'd have these events all year round, but in practice, we don't. So I like Black History Month, I enjoy going to Black History Month events, and I would defend it. What exactly are the parties doing, specifically, to mobilise black young people like ourselves? We don't think strategically enough. We're always thinking about the next soundbite, the next week, the next month, the next election. But the only way to solve this is by having a five or ten year plan of engagement. And you know that's something which I, I, I'm very interested in, in trying to develop. In a lot of schools in low income areas, you don't get told enough that you can enter into politics. You don't get told enough that, oh, this is what you need to do. What are you doing for people like myself to say, get involved? The society will not necessarily tell people like you and me what we can do and what is available. But what I think is important is that we as black people um, engage with our community by whatever means we can and don't forget where we came from. It's, it's quite simple. My mother, and she came to Britain from Ghana in 1962. And for someone like her, I think even standing as a councillor would have been a huge deal. And I think there's too much of that intimidation, too much of that sense of not belonging that is holding people back. And what I say to you is, you know, come here, do internships, come to debate, come and see your MP here. And once you've done that, in terms of politics, you will feel very familiar and you will feel emboldened and empowered actually to get involved. Then you can start thinking about making a contribution. You can start thinking about putting your hand up and saying, I'm going to stand for council or I'm going to get into, involved in local politics. Often as young black people we don't think that we can achieve certain things, perhaps because in the media we don't see a lot of black politicians, but particularly Diane, she really touched on the fact that you don't need anyone to have gone there first. If you want to do it, you can do it. All the greats before us, they saw injustice and did exactly what they could do to challenge it. So whether it's on your campus or nationally, think what you see as an injustice and take action. We need black people, we need more black women, we need more disabled people, we need more LGBT people. Because actually we need to have a parliament, politics and a culture that represents the very, very diversity that we have. And that's a good thing that should be cherished. You know, we can actually get more political representatives that are going to represent us and actually be more accountable to the community uh, if we use the power and the numbers that we actually have, and I believe that we can really do that. Change can come to Britain if you guys get involved, get engaged, and at the very least vote. Who is your MP of the Year? 
Who is your MP of the Year? Who is your MP of the Year? 